And good evening. Despite no credible threat, schools around southeast Wisconsin stepped up security and thousands of kids stayed home after a TikTok rumor spiraled out of control. The scene police even took two kids into custody for alleged threats to three schools. As Rebecca Clough reports, authorities want people to realize there are consequences for threatening violence, even if it isn't carried out. Hamilton High School sat empty today. Classes canceled because of a national social media trend threatening violence at schools. School districts and police say the vague threats originated on the social media site TikTok, and they were not credible. Thankfully, I've not heard that we've had issues here, although law enforcement has been aware of them and is prepared if necessary. Out of an abundance of caution, law enforcement stepped up patrols at some schools, and some parents kept their kids home. Racine Unified School District said nearly 3,000 students, or 35% of the district, were absent today. That's more than double the normal amount. The head of the School of Psychology program for the University of Wisconsin, River Falls, says school threats in general tend to follow each other. We do know that there appears to be a contagion effect in some cases when an act of violence such as the Michigan school shooting a few weeks ago, when something like that happens, there tends to be more threats that follow that. He says although most threats aren't credible, that can be a way a student having issues asks for help. Sometimes a threat is a last ditch effort to to uh, have somebody recognize me, have somebody um, understand what I'm going through, even if it seems illogical, it's a way of, of lashing out and perhaps maybe gaining someone's attention. However, the Sheboygan County District Attorney's Office warns there can be real world consequences to making that threat or sharing it. He says the lowest charge might be disorderly conduct, which could mean jail time if the person is a minor or an adult. Everyone needs to remember, too, that at 17, you're considered an adult. The most serious is the charge of making terrorist threats, which is a felony. He says even if you're convicted as a juvenile of that crime, you can lose your ability to own a gun for the rest of your life. There's a lot of ramifications that can come, and oftentimes people are just watching TikTok and they think it's cool or think it's funny, and they don't realize the long-term consequences that come. Now, those charges are just if someone makes a threat. The DA says if any action is taken to actually try to carry that threat out, those charges get much more serious. Reporting in Sussex, Rebecca Clough, TMJ4 News.